minor. <laughs> no copyright infringement because it was a minor. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the Super Fun Awesome Happy Time Pedal Show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome. I'm Alex, and we have the Tone Concepts Distillery Pedal. Yes, Tone Concepts Distillery. That's a tricky one to say three times really quickly. Try it. Lucky you only had to say it once. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're going today into the Marshall Origin 20. Big thank you to uh, Nick and the guys at Electric Factory here in Australia, Australian Marshall Distributors, for sending this out. Cool. Tons more videos coming. Mm. And we also very quickly and briefly had a Mad Professor Cosmos in the effects loop with some reverberization. So, the Distillery by Tone Concepts. Alex, mm. tell us about it. Uh, it's a boost and EQ shaping tool. Yes. Uh, lots of both of those things. Going yes. To the, where this was a clean amp. This is the, the we yeah. just all the drive came out of this. So there's a couple of gain stages and a couple of EQ type um, stages as well. So you basically got two knobs. I mean two switches and five knobs. Now these three, I don't know, you can see, but the ones with the red writing, uh, they go. That's the knob for them, and those two are the, that's not for them, or switch for them. So. This side is a boost side. So basically you have boost, guts, and you have, what's this one called? Bleed. Bleed, yeah. So boost and guts are two gain stages. Mm. Um, I believe guts probably runs into boost because guts on its own doesn't work. You need boots on for guts to work. Yep. <laughs> um, and like bleed a, is like a tone roller. It's like reading a kid's book. <laughs> it is a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh, bleed is like a tone roll-off. So it's a passive tone roll-off. Mm. Um, and I believe you've got 20 dB of very clean, pure, unadulterated. Is that a word for that? Unadulterated. It's a word. I'm it's not a sure. word for uh, 12, 20 dB of pure gain boost. Even a dog is, is excited about that. <laughs> then the other side is the, what is it called? The, sorry, dog, what is it called? Move your head out of the way. Daisy, move. Come on. I can't even see it. Shape. Come on. Shape side. Yeah, Sorry, there was a tongue's, uh, dog's tongue in the way. <laughs> um, the amount of times that's happening. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, and that's these two, contour and edge. Yeah. Now, I believe contour is a um, filter sweep. Yep. And edge is the cue for the filter. So it's a bandpass style filter. Mm. So kind of like what you would have in a wah. And um, you select the frequency and then you can kind of... Make it go away. Make it do things with that. Yes. So. So shall we? And and on this particular pedal, I'm not sure if they've done different because there, there were a couple of different versions. There was a black version, and there's also a, I think it's octagonal or hexagonal. It's oh not, yeah. Which is called it's the Luke, which is uh, uh -huh. Steve Luke the signature version of that pedal, which is voiced slightly different. But uh, in this particular one. The shape side only works if the boost side is on, so you can't use them separately. I'm not sure if you can in other... with. This is sort of one of the early ones when it first came out. Mm. So, do you want to play something? Yes. And we've got the boost right down, so it should be Unity. Once. So, this is the clean. It's not totally clean, slightly overdriven because we're cranking it quite a bit. Fat and clean. Yeah. All right, give us some. So this should be unity with the boost all the way down. So this is just a clean boost now, but because we've got, you probably can't see it, but we've got a master on like nine. <laughs> you know, out of nine out of ten. Yep. Um, so it's quite, you know, we are pushing the end quite a lot. Mm. This is great because you're not actually getting a lot more volume out of the amp. So it just blows it up. Blows the front end up. So if you had a if you had a hundred watt, if this was a hundred watt amp, yeah, uh, I mean the house would have exploded by now. If we would have had it would probably had out. A, a small but if you have more headroom, it yeah. would be cleaner for longer. Yes, it's just sure. because this is a small amp and we have a crank that you don't get as much headroom. So let's bleed in the guts. 
Yeah, bleed in the guts, all right. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> So the thing with that is because it runs into the other thing, the um, boost is kind of like a volume control for it as well. Mm. So you can actually get distortion sounds without really boosting the volume because you're boosting the pedal. Yeah, the guts does have slightly EQ flavor to it too. It'll make it cut a bit. <laughs> the bleed is, um, uh, yeah, passive EQ, so it does get brighter as I show. Yeah, pretty subtle, but about there seems to suit your guitar. So should we click on the other side? Get okay, some... okay. Maybe clean it up a little bit more, just so we get, you can maybe hear the EQ a bit better. Yeah, like that. A mid range thing, yep. Yeah, well, <laughs> do you want to play? Yeah, sure. And we'll muck around. Okay, so clean again. I'll put all the springage when then we'll do humbuckers. Exactly like that. Nailed it. Uh, humbuckers, which uh, clean sound suchly. It's a lot more output. Carbon CT6 or Kiesel CT6 as they call it nowadays, all stock. Let's get distilled. Hey! hey. Leaving space for the drum sound. Um, nice. It just fattens the sound up, and you can with the EQ thing, you can sculpt it quite a bit. Mm. Yep. Um, um, it's it's quite a versatile pedal. It's quite you can there's quite a lot you can do with it. It's interesting. Yeah. 
Of course, you can run into overdrives and fuzzes and all that kind of thing and do that same stuff as we've doing do with the amp. To, to shape the sound of the distortion or overdrive. So we might do another video with it hmm. where we run it into a... For example, what about something like a JCM 800 style amp made by guys like Marshall, for example? Uh, <laughs> funny that. Um, and maybe, um, you know, boost the drive channel and see if we can tighten it up a little bit. And so sure. stay tuned for that. So we'll be using the distillery a little bit more. Uh, yeah, it's a cool pedal. I've had it for quite a long time. I've used it quite a lot, actually, over the years. Yeah. But it's just always, it's mainly been sitting at home in the, you know, studio. Sure. Just for studio-y stuff when there's certain things that, you know, don't quite sound right. Interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting pedal. Mm. That's cool design. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Thumbs up. Tone Concepts. Yes, Tone Concepts. Um, T to the power of one. What? Well, the logo oh, yeah. looks like T to the power of one. Mm. It's not quite squared. It's but just it's, a T. It's just a T. <laughs> so, um, uh, yes, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, what else can yeah. you do, Alex, while they're doing things? Uh, yeah, there's links below to our um, podcast, which is cool. And also Instagram and Facebook accounts and you can check it all, all below the video in the description. Yes. There's a link tree mm. link that will link you to everything that needs to be linked. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's go. On that note, bye. Gotcha. See you.